This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, Natalie Nunn, Jayla, and Sydney Starr were all on Instagram Live together. Sydney Starr addressed how she always seemed to be at the club that the girls were at. She revealed who was giving her the inside intel. She did plead her case as to why she should be on Baddies West Season 3. Hey, girl. Hey, let's talk about it Mondays. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I want to know how you fell in that scene. I realized it after, like, how did you fly over there? Bitch, first of all, because for, let me just take my hat off. I ain't got time. <laughs> Bitch, because if I take mine off, I ain't got time either. Girl. So first of all, I, for some reason, whenever Persuasion and Rock are about to fight or anything, I'm always sitting bes- beside Persuasion. Always. Oh. For some reason. I seen Rock getting off that couch, and I think I just couldn't move fast enough. Like, by the time I was moving, security was coming. I was trying to push security one way. They was trying to push me one way, and bitch, the ankles just came from up under me. The feet was like, no. <laughs> Not the ankles. The ankles just came from up under me, baby. They was like, no. Just they said, baby, just sit down and relax. Just have a seat on the floor for a second. Okay. So I um so I wanted to ask you, okay, but besides that, I'm I'm really driving, so I can't like uh read Look all at the phone. phone. Yeah, but listen, right. on Friday, um, I was invited down to the podcast while I'm in LA because I gotta come down for at the office. Uh-huh. But um, Friday we have um a podcast, a No Jumper. Oh, okay. So they have a new girl that is the host. Well, I don't know if she's new. Her name's uh her name's um Gina Views, and um she she asked me if I would come down to do an interview with her, and I said yeah. And I said there was a few baddies in town, so I would have them come too. If she she was excited about that. So um. It's on Friday. So if you're available, FYI, just put it in your calendar. Yeah. Um, I'll send you the time and everything and the location for Friday. It's going to be, a, it's, it was going to be a few of us um, going down there. It'll be cute. It'll be fun though. Yeah. It, I'm with it. A, a bottle of wine or something. Shot of coffee. Oh, yeah. Or a, bo- a bottle of Casamigos. Bottle of Casamigos. I, I was trying to be like a little more. Right. You're talking about a bottle of wine. That wasn't going to work. The Cas- this bottle is coming with us to the uh, No Jumper podcast. Right. Okay. Oh. That's a bit. I'm with it. And then let's sit down and chat. Anyways, uh, when I get into town. Um, yeah. Besides that, how did you feel about the reunion and Batty South and the season? In a nutshell, what do you have to say? How do you feel? Honestly, like, Hindsight is always 2020, and now that everything is over and we've seen everything, I can honestly say that I really enjoyed the experience for what it was. I feel like I came into the situation, you know, pre- as prepared as I could be to film and to, you know, be a baddie and to promote my business and stuff like that. I think that the um, I think that the platform and just being on Baddie South really worked in my favor, like I said, on the reunion. And um, yeah, like I feel like even still, like I wasn't absolutely perfect. And I know that I have my own shit that I have to work on. And I'm continually just trying to like grow as a person. But I really feel like overall, the show was a success. It was really good. I feel like it was good for me. Like, honestly, the show... Season three, if you were asked. I would. I saw my response yesterday when I was watching the reunion. And I was like, you just sound like a bitch right now. You know, like, I would come back. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I would do it. I would do it again. I would do it again. I would do it again. Is that how I talk? That's how you talk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, um, and I think, um, I think you were a fan favorite for sure. I think the yeah. fans... I- enjoyed your and Krishan's um friendship and I think mm-hmm. uh, and I think um everybody I like I said earlier on the live everybody did an amazing job even even people that I don't really have that great of a relationship with or people that I, I just probably wouldn't have come back for season three just because right. we got other people I feel like there's just other gr- after the auditions I think there are a lot of other people out there 
that aren't, say, famous, don't have big social media following, that are, are, are absolute baddies that should have the chance to be a part of this next season that we're about to rock and roll and be doing. But nevertheless, I think we all did a great job. We trended every week. Everyone's platforms tremendously grew. And the show was, it was a success for Zeus. Yes. And was a success for each and every single one of us individually that were a part of it. So I'm actually proud of this, this right. show. Um, I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited for the next season. Um, and um, and that's really all I have to say. I know um, a lot of the girls have been reaching out in, in regards to coming back. Um, and that won't just yeah. ultimately fall on me, obviously. It's, it's Zeus' team. And um, right. that's what we'll be working on um in this, in this next week um but i'm excited um uh, i'm excited i was i'm, I'm still season se- season two baddie south was up we, we were, it was and you, you know, want to know what like one thing like i feel like now i feel like being i feel like being on bad girls club the audience was one way you know, and right. I feel like like when you meet them in person and just like the, I, I think more so like the age demographic. And so now, because a lot of those fans have grown up with us, it's been so many years. Like now we're actually really seeing them out in public, not just like at the club, you know. Right. If you think about it, like we would go to a lot of events and see them there. Like, you know, you would go places and you would see them or, you know, you would meet the fans. But it's like I feel like now since Batty South, like. The amount of fans that I meet, like on a day to day basis, like it's crazy, and it's from all age groups, all age groups, men and women, and so I just love it. I love it. No, no, for sure. Um, I actually just had to hire a dog walker because so many people recognize me when I walk with <laughs> my dogs by my house, and I just can't even. I can't do. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. A dog walker. Um, um, I just got a text from Sydney. She wants me to add her in with you. Are you okay with that? Yeah, she, just let me... she, said, she said she wants to tell you something. That's what she's texting me. She sent you a request. Come on, Sydney. <laughs> I'm not doing no weird. It, Sydney, today is, today is Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. Today, Motivational bitch. Monday. Right. So just come on. What you got to say? In the words of Carisha, I'm ready for the smoke. Huh? In the words of Carisha, I'm ready for the smoke. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to add her. Hold on. Let me get in the house. So my puppy had, my puppy had to go to, um, my puppy had to go to um, get his leg checked up. How's the dog doing? He's doing better. It's just like, I don't understand how that happened. Let me add Sydney. It's just like, oh. Let me, oh, there she is. Yeah, you have to do it like that, Sydney. All right. Okay, Laura. What's what's up, Sydney? What add, as a, no, it won't let me add her. Hold on. I think that's God. No, no. <laughs> you know what, Jayla? God damn Cause Sydney be full of Sydney be full of drama. Like, I be trying to chill. But Sydney just be like on 10 every single time. Hey, Sydney, good morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> hey, Bobby Lots. What's going on? <laughs> hey, Sydney, how you doing? <laughs> hey, Bobby Lots. I just wanted to let you know something. You know, when I was at the reunion, you drove by in the car. You looked at me and smiled. You said you, said you were going to smack me when you, you saw me. Remember? <laughs> You no, but, the, no but it can still be no, but it can still be arranged. <laughs> if I said it, I can stand on it. You I, actually I drove right by me. You. I was standing there. I looked at you. You smiled at me. I said, "What's good?" You drove off, <laughs> Sydney. Sydney, <laughs> baby, <laughs> baby. You, let me ex- let me explain so something to you. Let me take my glasses off for this. Take them off. Uh huh. I'm listening. I mean, even though I'm explaining something, you use your ears to listen. You don't need your eyes, but you know. Whatever works for you. Um, if I said that I will smack you, I will still smack the dog piss out of you. Um, I highly doubt I, it. Sydney. <laughs> I highly doubt it. You know, Natalie should bring you back for season three. So then I, I like, have a better chance of coming back for season <laughs> three than y'all. you ever would. I'll find y'all again and we can, like you said, we'll arrange that. I'll find you guys. <laughs> that's, that's fine. 
Okay, thank you, Sydney. So with that, with that being said, that's fine. That's fine. But with also with that being said, that still does not make us a part of the franchise until we are actually there. You did okay, so you did audition. You were in correspondence with certain people from the from I, that but, production I, but, company. Like, I don't know anything about Rolly's show. I don't that has nothing to do with Natalie Nuss. That's that if that's what Rolly's saying. Congratulations to Rolly. I have no idea about that. But My thing is, to- Natalie, if you really wanted to fight for me, you could have. You could have fought for me and be like, Sid, one more season for Sid. That's it. One more. You could have did that. You were still a part of season two. I, it, you were still a part of season two. You're right. But guess what? But guess what? Oh, oh, what? You, said, you found a way and you did it just like that again. Once again, whether or not we invited you, whether or not we gave you a ticket, a, a, a pink ticket, whatever it's going, you were still a part of season two. You were, Sydney, you are, you are, a, Sydney Thank Star, you. you heard it here. Well, you know what, Natalie, let me you say are, this. You are great to work with. You are easy to work with. You are, you are easy to work with. You get it. You, you get on set. You do your, you do your big one every time. You, so you, know, you know what, if you have, if you have an all-star season, I need to be on the all-star season. Put it that. Look at that. Look at the all-star season sounds. That sounds great. I, I love it. I need I need first dibs on all-star. If it's the all-star season, I need first dibs. Okay. Period. Y'all heard it here. Now, Sydney, can you clarify one thing for me? Hold on, I know. Heard it here first I need to clarify one thing for me. What? Tell the fan that Natalie did not tell you. To show up to all those club appearances, I did not tell you to. I did not give you addresses. Now I would like to know your side on how you found us, how you came. Who it did, did maybe someone else on the cast tell you to come? I want to know your side. Go. <laughs> You'll never know my freaking secrets ever. Because were saying you were offering them money. Did anyone take money from you? Yeah, you know, I, I tried to offer Roly a thousand dollars. You know, she could have bought a life supply of Twinkies if she would have took that. If she would, I don't know why she wouldn't have took. She didn't take the thousand dollars. She could have had a life supply of Twinkies, literally. You know, I know I love Twinkies. I know she loves Twinkies. She, she, she was. She, we talked. She was like, "Let me think about it." She said she was gonna think about it. I don't know who told her to turn it down, but I would have took that 1K with no problem. So no one ever took money from you? No. No one, none of, none of you bitches, none of you bitches <laughs> wanted to get money. None of you bitches wanted to get money at all. None of you bitches wanted to get money. Y'all, <laughs> it's so easy over here. Like, but, I don't need to, maybe, so, what, so no one took the money, so then you just found your way to the club from the flyers on the, on the posts? Not just not not just that, baby. I have I have my own insider over there at Zeus. How did you know what day we were shooting the reunion? I have my own insider at Zeus. Just know someone over at Zeus loves me. <laughs> the addresses and the days and the times. Natalie, just know someone over at Zeus loves Sydney Star. I believe it. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> someone that loves me over there. And they're gonna continue to I love on me. I love you too. So let's so let's talk about it. Either season three or all star, and at this note, I'm out, and I'm gonna still, I'm a, I may, you might see me season three. I might pop up on y'all ass. <laughs> Wait, don't hang up, don't go, Sydney. Wait, when you sent the Michael Myers uh, from the bus, I, I still can't get it out of my head. What? You know what? You know, you know what I'm gonna say on that, and I'm gonna hang up. That was that was simply God. I looked out the window. I seen the bus. I said, thank you, God. You love me. Because you want me to make sure I see and know when these bitches leave and return. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, sis. Dead ass. One night, I was gonna egg the bus. No, no. I was gonna egg you. <laughs> Dead ass. One night, I thought about it. I contemplated out the window. I said, should I egg the bus or should I not egg the bus? And I literally, I thought no. about vandalism. I thought about vandalism and I didn't want to go to jail. So that's why I said no. But at this point, yeah, I think I earned my spot for a season three, two, Baddies West, because I was a, a big part of season two as well. So I'm going to let the fans, you know, talk about it, talk about it. And I've been doing great things. Today. 
I'll put up a poll on my story today for them to vote. Let's have a, let's have a petition. Y'all fans better come through. Do it. Do it. But they got you. You already know, sis. I just came through this shit. This has been my year. I did Nick Hannah Waller now. I got another a whole bunch of stuff I did. So I like Nick Hannah Waller now. Was it fun? It was amazing. It was so much fun. I can't wait for it to air. I loved it. I'm proud of you, Sydney. For they, they 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 did talk. They did talk. Some they they talked hella shit about me. It was funny though. They talked about my ass bad, but I loved it. I loved every moment of it. And that's right. You better own it. I'm proud of you. Period. So let's let's talk about it. Season three. I'm or, about it. All stars I, season three or whatever. He said, I, was, I, I still got unfinished business. <laughs> and there's only one transgender baddie in this bitch, and I'm out. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Bye. See ya. Bye, bitch. Where's um Jacob? How's the puppy's leg? He's okay. Yeah, I want to see him. Huh? That's okay. Come here, Oreo. <laughs> Is there any other baddies in here? Let's talk about your season, to your experience. Um, hi, Oreo. Your Jacob. Oh. Oh. Your checkup went good. Sydney Star says she wants to be back on season three, honey. Let me, Aria, let me see you. How's your leg, little guy? Is it okay? Oh, Hi. Let me see. Did they take his stitches out? Yeah. He said he was okay? Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi, little guy. Calm down. You want to get down and run? Say hello. Hello, I'm Oreo. Um, okay, little girl. You want to go play? Did they say you could be running around or no? no it's just, it's kind of my voice is nice and kicking. Okay, I'm right now. Ugh. So you still can't run around, Oreo. Um, okay. So there it is. Um,. All right, guys. We had a little fun today. Talk about it Mondays. Jake, after he's after you're done with him, do you want to run over to go look, uh, pick out the floors? You ready? Okay. All right. I was gonna have I was gonna have one more baddie, but I don't know who's in the live. I was gonna have one more baddie to the live. Is there another baddie? Journey's at school. Journey's at school, guys. Journey's at school. <clears throat> so, yes, guys, new show dropping. Um, we got um, Crazy in Love with Krishan and Blueface. Make sure you guys subscribe. Zeus Network. Links in the bio. Um, we're proud. We're excited. Um, Y'all said Rocks in the Live? We're, you have to they have to leave a comment in order for me to add them because the live when I click it and there is too much shit in there and then it freezes where's Scotty Not Patty's teens. I'm ready whenever you are, babe. And I brought I, I bought you some juices. I got you a um a, a vanilla almond. And remodeling our master bedroom. I love you guys so much. I had fun with you guys this morning. You guys have a amazing Monday. And stay safe. My husband is so damn handsome. Hey, handsome. Hey, handsome. Ooh. Handsome husband. What color floors do you want to do? Like a gray? Do you want one of your juices now or no? No. Okay. The rest of them will put it in. Look for later.
Do you guys, um, what, what color? Like a gray or like a white? Okay. Oh, I can't wait to put up my new bed. Ah! All right, guys. I love you. I got to go. I know I look crazy. I took my wig off. It's got my braid down underneath. But I'm out. So you saw the Instagram live. Do you think that Sydney Starr earned her spot on Baddies West season three? Do you believe, Sydney, that somebody over at Zeus was giving her the inside information? Or do you think that Natalie was that person? Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And if you have any hot tea for me, please message me on Instagram. I love you guys. Bye.